All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you all the tips and tricks with the S Pen for the Galaxy Z Fold 6. If you wanna pick up the S Pen, this is the older version of the S Pen, but if you wanna pick up the newer version of the S Pen, I'll link it down below, specifically built for Galaxy Z Folds. It's a little bit thinner than this one, and I believe it's a little bit shorter as well. Uh, and then if you wanna pick up the Z Fold 6, definitely recommend it, it's an awesome phone. So the first thing you can do with this is you can navigate with this. So if you like to do better accurate pointing and not have to get your screen dirtied up, you have that ability um, and this does a great job at it. You can see anything I can do with my finger, I can pretty much do with this. If I wanna highlight text, I can do that. You see, I can drag and then you can share it, save it, whatever you want. You can even do that with a photo as well if there was a photo in here you wanted to save just press and hold on it and it will do that um, so navigating is totally doable you can use the back button if you want to go back by by swiping over so it does everything basically you'd want that your phone could do otherwise just tap on the screen you'll see this little thing over here and you can move this wherever you pretty much want i would like to keep it kind of over here i guess i guess i'm a lefty i should probably put it over here so i'll put it over here tap on it and i can create a note and if you love creating notes, you have that option to do so. So, you know, maybe I like creating lists or I want to write my next great novel. And I want to handwrite it. You can do that with it on here. So, you know, maybe I'm going to start signing my name here. And then I'll write it. And then I'll ask a question. So, you know, you're taking notes, you're writing things down, you can do that with this. And then within the notes app, you can tap this and I can format it, I can summarize it, translate it, sketch to image. And what you can do with that automatically is if I go to auto format and I wanna do headlines and bullets, I can do that and it's going to generate text layout for me. So there you go, it kind of, you can't read cursive, I guess, but it typed out what I wanted here and then I can save that if I want, but it's kind of cool. You can summarize what you write. Next one, we're going to go into the gallery app. We'll switch out of those, those lines right there. And I'm going to just go into um, my dog here and I can hit this little AI button up here and it looks at her image and maybe I want to give her, or maybe I want to put something on here. Maybe I want to put a cube of some sort. So I'll draw a cube. And when I do that cube, actually we deselect that. I'm going to sketch the image. I'm going to draw a little cube here. And let's see if it puts a cube next to her. But you can, you can use this with your finger, but I wanted to show you that you can use the S Pen for better accuracy. Generate. Let it do its thing right here. Transforming sketch into substance. It's gonna take a, a couple seconds there. Well, it, drew, it put a chair, but regardless, it did um, put something in there and I drew that with my pen. So you, if you wanna draw within your images in the gallery app, you can do that. All right, next one, let's tap on this. And then we're gonna go into Smart Select. Now Smart Select is going to let you choose something. Like say I wanna choose like this Gaming Hub app. Now it'll select it, and if I want, because it's only gonna select those things, I can add that to a note, or copy it, or, or paste it. Um, I can, let's do something, let's get something out of here. We'll go into like a, a website or something. So we'll click on this Prime thing. All right, here's good. So we'll tap this, we'll go into Smart Select. It's gonna look at the site or the page that I'm looking at, and I'm going to, tap this ice cream and I'm like, you know, I can sketch the image of that. I mean, I can add something that to that. I can translate it or I can share it or do something like that. You can also tap that and add it to a note so I can put it into a note like I just did and it took the text out of it. So there's a bunch of things you could do with that smart select. Uh, it just depends what you want to do. But again, you can see it can, it's really simple to choose what you want. Next one is screen, right? This is cool because they just had a Joe Biden just dropped out of the race. Maybe I want to show this and be like, O M G. And when I'm done, I can continue, I can click on this or, you know, add something in. Maybe I want to do something in yellow, put like a, 
oh my god i don't even know how to draw oh my god face maybe like something like that and then when i'm done i can erase maybe what i did or put it back i can share it i can save it and that's pretty much it it's pretty cool that you can do that with anything that you see on the screen sketch to image this is uh probably one of the most fun things to do it's kind of what i kind of just showed you a moment ago with the uh picture but you can actually do it on a blank blank canvas so i'll show you that real quick what we're going to do here we're going to hit start and i can just draw something so um maybe I, I drew a snowman in best buy one time i'm really really bad at drawing um maybe i want to draw a, 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 a let's try to draw a pizza we'll see if it knows that i'm drawing a pizza i'm gonna draw this this i'm gonna put all the pieces right here and then i'm gonna put some pepperonis Let's see if it gets all this. I can make it a watercolor or illustration or sketch or pop art or 3D cartoon. Um, I'm gonna make it an illustration and then we're gonna hit generate. Now, watch, it's pretty cool. This is one of the cool things about having an S-Pen on here is if you're really good at artistry, there it goes, made a, a pizza for me. Pepperoni pizza, deluxe pizza, meat pizza. Pretty neat and you can save these if you want, share them and do all that. Next one up is Pen Up. This one's really, really cool. This one allows you to color or draw um, and it's all built in. You have all these different categories. It'll save your artwork. Um, you can see your drafts that you're working on. You can look at your images if you have an image in there, but let's just choose, uh, let's just choose this one for instance. I'm gonna start coloring this one. I can choose my different brushes here. Maybe I want that and I want to do start off with uh, blue. Oh, it's terrible uh, coloring, but just to give you the the uh, look at what you what is possible on here, you can do this and uh, it's just cool. It's, it's a relaxing thing. Kids like it, adults like it. it, depends what it is. If you want to draw, you can draw on here. It's a very full featured app. Magnify this one is really neat. So I can change it from 300% um, all the way up to down to 150%. Basically, I'll keep it at 300. It allows you, I'm not putting my, my pen on the screen. I am right up on it and I'm allowed to just kind of wave my wand over the screen and see what I'm looking at. Maybe I'm, I wanna see something a little bit better because my eyesight's not good or I really wanna hone in on what's there. Like I'm like, oh, that's Ben and Jerry's Cherry Garcia ice cream or the green grapes or i want to read some text better i come over here and do that and like oh, what does this say oh that's what it says i can do it over this in a video or a picture or text very very helpful and if you want to bring your s pen up if you don't see this little you know pencil icon all you gotta do is tap on the screen a couple times and it'll show up we have translate this one's really cool um i'm going to translate from english to spanish mexican uh, if you want, you can change it to something else. But all you gotta do, it's very simple. Just go to where you want, hold your pen over the text, and it'll translate it for you, and you can see it. You're like, oh, that's what it says. All right, I understand that. Um, I think you can do it over images. Let me just check, see if it does it. It actually does, there you go. That's an image, and it's translating it for me. So text or photos, it will translate what you see, uh, especially if it's in another language and you're having trouble reading it makes your life a lot easier right on calendar this is a really neat one i already did it but basically you can just write literally on your calendar i'm going to erase this and i'm like yeah i want to write this on here i'm going to put day off and i can save it i'm like i want to save that now now it's on my day off so i look at my calendar uh it'll show day off because i hand wrote it you don't have to do it with typing uh, you can do it right with your s pen so there's a lot of really cool amazing things you can do with your s pen on your galaxy z fold 6 i'd recommend getting one uh, especially if you get a case that can hold it this case will hold the new s pens um, that i'll link down below and definitely grab yourself a z fold 6 you're going to absolutely love it it's an awesome awesome phone really cool upgrade overall thanks for watching have a great day we'll see you down the road peace